Speaking at a press conference on Friday, Hildebrand said that he won't quit. Well, Bloomberg Simone May joins us now live from Zurich for a little bit more on this. Simone, can he continue to weather the storm? <coughs> Well, Mariam, obviously, Hildebrand already apologized for his actions and he said it was a mistake not to reverse the $500,000 transaction by his wife in August. Now, in, in, on Saturday, late Saturday, the SNB's bank council, who supervises actions, uh, released a statement saying that it will investigate all of the board members' transactions in the three years through 2011. It will also toughen the code of conduct and it will make any currency cr transactions over 20,000 francs subject to internal approval. So there's already been some action. Now lawmakers in Bern still have a lot of questions and that's why Hildebrand will have to face a parliament panel in Bern today. Later today there will be a briefing and they will especially want more evidence who exactly asked for the currency purchase over $500,000 in, in August. So we, he will likely provide some evidence that it was in fact his wife and not himself making that transaction. Yeah, important to make that distinction, all of this, isn't it, Simone? And a great, n nevertheless, a great deal of concern, a great deal of uh, doubt surrounding Ms. Tildebrand's position in all of this. I'm just wondering, are questions being raised about the code of ethics, the system, if you like, at the central bank itself? Well, some lawmakers are saying that basically it shouldn't be allowed for SMB board members to make any share or currency transactions at all. The Parliament's uh, Swiss People's Party has already demanded that Hildebrand step back, calling it a breach, or trust that he's no longer to maintain his position and defend the bank's currency cap. So the government has said it still stands behind the president, but there are still a lot of questions to be answered in the next couple of hours. Simone Mayer, that story for us from Zurich. Thank you.